So, good morning everybody. It's a new morning. Welcome back. Welcome back. We've just woken up and, um, well, today, uh, hopefully I've put some kind of a montage together to show you how I managed to get to level 11, uh, but it's still not good enough. Uh, we need to be level 15. Now, I think didn't see where he went, uh, but Dave is there a hair of 15 so what you're going to do is get to level 15 and then um oh single shot kill okay and that did it yeah now i'm level 15. cool so now we can make some kind of armor yeah we're kind of looking at what we have and now you can see in mine i have the text the tech tree we were looking at some of the fur which of course would be better for the winter but now I just unlocked the leather armor. So I've got uh, five different pieces of armor. Um, and I think the cold protection, as you can see here, it still has basically half of what the fur armor would be. So we're getting half of the protection that we would want okay. uh, anyways. And I think, honestly, we'll be able to do a pretty good job if we bring some fires with ourselves. I think it's very doable. Okie dokie. So, yeah, so now that we have a bunch of leather too, let's go see if I can't craft some of this hmm. armor here. All right, looks like we got a decent amount. Yeah. Oh yes, that fixed that fixed me all up now. Fantastic. <laughs> oh good. So one, two, three of those. One, two, three of those. Well, Mozo, I fixed my brokenness. Your brokenness. Cool. Yep. Okay. It was mods, <laughs> was it? Mods causing it? Uh, yeah, I had to move the folder out. Hmm. Good. Got that's resolved. Alrighty, just arranging our armor in here. So then we should be able to do the feet. One, two, three. And we'll just let it do the third. Okay. And I don't think there's a way to cancel that. Clear queue, there we go. Okay. 
can I? Yeah, I can. Okay. Just control clicking there, just to put them on quickly and easily. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Oh, <laughs> didn't right. didn't, didn't realise you'd come in behind me. Um, quite all right. Quite all right. Can't actually Oops, I I, sort um, of give you a picture of the front of me. Way. You'll have to just um, uh, look at one of look at poor two's or Dave's. There you go. That's uh, on, come out of that. Yeah. So that's the yeah, leather. Go. That's a leather armor. So that's the next one up from cloth, but the one below fur. And okay. apparently, apparently, I can eat again. And then, do we have any veggies worth bringing? I've got uh, nine, bacon's 90, a good one. 97 berries on me, so... Yeah. So up to you. Bacon's a good one as a third, if you don't already have a, something, but... Um, uh, you picked I think up... we should at least bring um, the bacon. I cooked up... Uh, what did I get? Stringy meat, cooked meat, and gamey meat. I didn't actually bring any bacon. But... And then the last thing I would say is all three of us should probably plan on bringing a fire and a stack of wood so that we each have our own. Okie dokie. Yep, on top of that already. Um, well, there's a fire here outside the base, and we just picked that one up. Do we need it outside yep, the base? Yeah, exactly. Normally that first fire that I make then becomes a nice little go fire. Yeah. I'm in yeah. the process of making beds. Oh yeah, we're going to need beds, aren't we? Yep. I can, make, I can make three extras. Yeah, we've got a lot of fur, so... I mean, I'm just going to pick up this bedroll here. Okay, have you repaired yeah. all your knives and tools and... I did repair my knife just before, so that that's a good point. I think we are... I'm feeling pretty good. I feel like we've got basically all we need. We'll get a little bit of wood. There is some wood out there, but it's... Really not a bad idea to at least bring yourself a stack. You don't need a hundred, okay. but you know, bring some. Okay. I'm feeling good. What do you think? Do we want to venture out? I think we should go for it, because I have a feeling I it's going to take us longer than we think, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I would agree. Yep, I think it's going to be an interesting challenge. Yeah. That's so I sure. have... What have I got? I've got 158 wood. Okay, One. yeah, more than enough. Okay, after you. <laughs> <laughs> Not a problem. Oh, there's our first bear. Okay. So, we really want to probably not try to deal with them if we can. Mm. That it's bear just on the left is not ideal because he... You do benefit... Like, if they're facing away from you, they don't see you. Um, it, it will delay us though, won't it? So Yeah, and fighting them, they take a lot of arrows, so yeah. we could do it, but it's just... And you can see now in the bottom left, we already have that little snow yes. debuff, so we are experiencing cold. You can see the whole temperature gauge in the bottom left. Yes. If, if we remain within that cold for too long, we will get frostbite. So that's just a next level of debuff. Lovely. Um, while there's no storm going on, we can always just light a fire. Yeah, but when a storm comes, even if it's a snowstorm, it still puts the fire out, presumably. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Snowstorm, you, even if you're standing on top of the fire, on fire, you won't <laughs> have <hot enough. laughs> <Lovely. laughs> Super. Yeah. Okay, so I do remember from the map we do have quite a long way to, to trek. Yep. Yep, I'm picking up snow as we go. Oh, right, okay. Ah, I see. Just point at the thing. So there's no point in me picking it up as well, is there? No. Doesn't I don't do think we'll have enough. I mean, we can do multiple fires, but, you know, if you have a dozen or so, that's more than enough. Yeah. I got, like, 60. Yeah. And I do think we probably want to consider stopping um, and warming up at a fire, even if just briefly. Let's just do it here, just because we're just here. 
Okay. And there's no storm, so I'm just going to place it uh, over here. And it's not going to be long. All we want to do is have that little snow indicator disappear. There hey, you throw, go. Throw a bladder on there for me, would you? Yeah, sure. Because, uh, yeah, I didn't get a drink before we left the base. There you go. So if you stand by him, now you see our flame went away. It's, it's kind of like the cave. You just don't want it to stick there for too long, or just like a cut or a wound that then becomes yeah. affected. If you it have gets, snow, it becomes frostbite. It's worse, so. yeah. Okay. Have we, have we paid attention to the forecast here? Uh, is that the only thing we I've need to worry about? I've been watching it. I see the yellow, so we, we might be hitting a moderate level storm. It's supposed to be about a three-minute storm within that several-hour window, so... It's hard mm -hmm. to tell. I'm still learning how the system works, but we probably should keep moving so we don't catch another storm. So, Pato, you want to grab this water? Yep. And then I'm just going to grab everything here. Okay, no problem. Okay, so take the cook okay. meat out, That's take enough. the raw meat out, take the food out, and pick up the fire. Yeah. Hey. Oh, yeah, and watch out for these. Yeah, these are little crevasses. You can oh, fall right. in them. Normally, at the end, like you're looking at, that's where you could run out at the end of nice. it. Um, there's also another thing. If you hit escape, there's a button in the bottom right called unstuck. So right. if you're really stuck somewhere, you could just hit unstuck, and it will respawn you somewhere nearby. Uh, got you. Okay. Yep, this sure looks gold. Yep. We are feeling it. And if you drink water, just like in real life, it'll cool down your body a little bit. Nice. So when you're in the snow, like when you eventually have a suit that can hold the water, you want to take that water out. And, you know, when you take a swig of water, it's usually good to do it while you're standing by a fire versus just drinking water while you're already cold. Need chicken soup. That's what you need. I know. <laughs> so Mozo, you may want to also eat uh, a prime meat or something. I see that you've got two buffs. Uh, let's stick to the right. I see a bear. A prime meat. Okay. Uh, uh, like cooked. the stringy or the cooked. Stringy. Either of those yeah. two. Yeah, yep. I can do that. Okay. There you go. Now you've got nice big health bump because of that. Yeah, and I'm cold. <laughs> now one other, yeah, right. One other thing I will say um, is, and I know we're not doing it right now, but spreading out in the winter biome can be helpful because, you know, you may be able to help each other out with a bear, a bit. Mm. Um, but if you're far enough away, if if one person does end up dying to the bear, oh, we need to go to the left. Yeah, probably down in this valley here. If one person does end up dying to it, at least that bear doesn't see the other person right nearby. Right. So they'll maybe right. wander off. Versus if you're kind of all huddled oh, together. Yeah. <laughs> I saw that. All in. <laughs> I did. <laughs> Is that a mammoth? Oh, crap. There's a mammoth. Oh, my God. What? Yeah. There's a there's mammoth. A mammoth. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh, my gosh. I forgot they brought them back into these worlds. They did. Oh boy. Okay. Um. Okay. So we've we've got what have we got? Uh. Yeah. And a green okay. marker, and um, I think it's going to be another uh, little box a, unit yeah, dropped. Box. I can't remember <laughs> if it's up on the ridge or if it's down in the middle. I'm betting it's up on the hill. So I'm going to go. Oh, bear on the right. I'm going to go around that way. And he's headed right to you. Okay. Uh, oh, right. I see him. Yep, he's definitely seeing us, Mozo. He's on your right, right over your shoulder. Yeah, I did see him. Yeah. I, I'm just yeah, wondering. You're good. Keep going up the rocks. Uh, uh, you're okay. like, uh, who needs stamina? You know. Yeah, stamina's for wussies. Yeah, here it is on the top here. There you go. I don't know why you guys took the long way. <laughs> uh, uh, there's some big okay. muscular bear so. here that I would rather not deal with. I went right up the rock. It's okay, Dave. You there you, you can you, you deal with it. We'll um right. We'll carry on yeah. to the, the next one. All right. So you guys, did you already pick it up? Yep. We've got it. Yeah. So blue is the next one. 
Something growling over there. Just ignore it. <laughs> yeah. As it roars in your ear. <laughs> a claw comes past your face. So I do know that big cliff, uh, that doesn't look too big from down low here, but that cliff that we're running towards, I remember that that you can kind of see there's a cave entrance there. So if we do get hit by a weather storm, just like in a lot of places, you kind of want to know what your outs are at any given time. And I think right now that would be our out. Okay. I'm trying to remember if we have to be on top or, uh, yeah, it, uh, no, I can't tell. Yeah, uh, it's down low. Oh, but where the where the device is? Yeah, I'm sure it's yeah. on top. Yeah, I think they like to put them on top, don't they? Yeah. So this here, as beautiful as it is, is the reason I wouldn't like to live in Alaska. <laughs> because I watch programs of people uh, who do live in Alaska and it, it's just so beautiful I mean I, I love the country the wild country but I couldn't live there it's just too cold yeah yep. alright I'm just going to place this here There we go. A little reset on my cold. Yeah, I think that's probably a good idea. I'll just go and grab this one. There you go. Now we have to assemble it. The bad thing is, I'm pretty sure we have to assemble it in the, the crafting bench. The thing you're looking for, apparently, it's uh, some kind of sonic device. Releases a burst of infrasonic sound. Did anybody grab the other one? Yeah. storm cell. Break it up. From Either the, the what? Settle the weather patterns up here. I'll believe it when I see it. The the other piece that was in the crate at the base? No. I've got Crap. all three. Yeah, I've got all three on me. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, great. Yeah, I've been keeping the keeping them as I go. So. Oh, good. Um, pretty sure we have to have the crafting bench, so we're gonna have to go in the cave. Just um, uh, yeah. Okay. Can right. we make one? Uh, uh crafting stone, bench. leather and stone. Fiber. Uh, I've got leather. Do you have fiber? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Which is the crafting bench? Uh, That's um tier one. Uh, you just went over it. Or no, the camera. first first one in tier two. Yeah, there you are, just above you. One more up. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, he could craft it. Oh, there yeah. you go. Yeah, might as well just make one. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna move this fire into the cave then. I agree. Going, Let's go do that. I'm going into cave right now. Okay. Well, I was going to. Oh, there it is. Oh, look at that copper right outside. Uh -huh. Look at that. There's a lot of stuff sitting outside of this one. They probably feel sorry for you getting caught all the way up in the, the cold where you have to enter a cave. They're probably going, <laughs> ah, right. we'll, we'll, we'll take pity on them. <laughs> I'm just going to wait for poor two to kill all the worms. <laughs> yeah. Um, you can come on in. Oh yeah, it's one of these cliff ones. Oh, oh that got me. Uh, Too much for your warning. He, he gone. <laughs> uh, okay, can you just set it? Can I set it up here? Or, uh, yeah, just anywhere. anywhere yeah. It just needs to be sheltered is why we're going into the cave. Right. Otherwise you can't craft with it. Okay. There so you go. and now it might give you something that you can craft. Yep, go ahead and go into the craft or go into the bench. The bench, yeah. Select the uh, recipe. No. No, it doesn't. Uh do I have what? to maybe put these in? No, maybe it's not in the crafting bench. Um could uh, one of you viewers just rewind the video and tell us what the man said when we picked up the third piece? 
<laughs> right. That would um, be very helpful right now. Let me see if it says anything. Element from quest. A, a generator of some kind. A power control unit, possibly. And some sort of signal or force transmitter. F force? F fast. Okay, force. Okay, go back into your... Are you in your crafting menu? Crafting. Yeah. Um, okay, to your left. Water. Right there. That one? Acoustic cavitation cannon. Oh, there you go. Yep. Okay, so you didn't even yeah. need a bench. Okay. Nope. Uh, Great. That. Okay. Okay, it's ready. But something like that needs shelter. Under shelter. Or yeah. the storm's gonna tear it apart. Well, that's not a problem. Geniuses yeah. at the group reckon walls won't stop at working. So you better build some. Uh, okay, does a cave count? Well, no, I, I, so. I, I don't remember where it's supposed to go. I think it's just anywhere in the Arctic. It says. Yep, yep, there it is. Turn it on when the yeah. storm's hot. I would come in here because their animals are going to be coming. That's why that hole's so small. Yeah. Uh, it said when the storms uh, activate it when the storm is at its uh, worst. Yeah, we interact now, it doesn't do anything, you're right, so we have yeah. to wait for the storm. Well, luckily, I mean, I guess we've been lucky that we haven't had a storm yet. Oh. Just spoke yeah. too soon. <laughs> so, yeah, so we've got to wait. Presumably. Yeah, not not ready yet. Yeah, it's weird to hear elephant noises out here. I'm not used to these mammoths. Is it not a danger we're gonna set fire to ourselves with the Fires there? Or? Nope. nope. I mean, if, if you stand on top of them, it will. I was just thinking if animals are coming in and we're jiggling about trying to shoot them. Yeah. Well, the best yeah. thing would be is if they catch on fire. Yeah, uh, that's true. <laughs> well, put them right by the entrance oh, well. to the. Put the fires in a line right by the entrance to the cave. Well, did we try to start it? Does it do anything different now? No, not yet. Okay. We definitely do. I have to maybe experience a storm first. Do I it may to? have to be above ground. I don't know. It says or it says above ground. Well, it's kind of above ground. Sort of. <laughs> <laughs> you can I'm not, try, but I'm I'd not, say if it's not working after we hit the yellow bar, then yeah, I say I'm not taking it. storm damage, and the the weather still says storm incoming snow. I'm not taking any. Any uh, punishment for being yeah, out here? Yeah, usually so. while it's still green, you should be okay. It'll be colder in the Arctic for sure, but yeah. as soon as we hit the yellow, let's see what happens. As soon as I start taking, uh, what's it, exposure? Is that is that the term? You guys need some water, anybody? Get in there. I'm on about 35%. Wow, what that's I need right now is a storm. Cold. I have coal. I was going to put it in my fire. Yeah, caught it. Yeah, see that storm over the bottom of the valley there? That's looks yeah. nasty. Right, so... It's I'm, not letting it run. I think I'm, we need to make a, a base before this storm is over. Well, I'm getting Probably storm exposure even. now, so I wasn't before. Yeah. Alright, I got four walls. Yeah, four walls. I've got um, okay. an angled piece for the roof. And then we need one floor. If I can't make any of the... see what... Why can't I make that? Um, Out of let, wood. Let me give you okay. some some I've stuff. I've got wood. Yeah, I've got wood. Uh, loads of wood, and uh, sticks and uh, fiber. Got all the stuffs. All right. Okay. Got a floor. All right. You want to go start it, Mozo? Do you want to pick up the uh, yep. cavitation cannon? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Acoustic Batu, cavitation you, uh, cannon. <laughs> Should we make the base? Let's do it. So in the snow, a flat roof 
is something you'd want to avoid because of the snow. Um, eventually, you can actually get a, a shovel even in this, but we don't really normally do that. But if you just make this little triangular roof instead. Okay. Hang on. I'm just... Uh... Uh, what am I doing? I'm swapping the wood for the coal. Uh, activate that and ditch that. And Do you want me to make, make it to work? Um, because I was over encumbered with the coal, so. Yeah, I got yeah. the door. You got a door? Okay. There we go. Alright. Perfect. And, and then, then as you can. Just move that in there. Let's go ahead and yeah, set it up. There. there you go. So if you want to set that guy up in here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Try to give you some room. There you go. All right. And uh, we'll see uh, some... If, it, if we see uh, some damage or something, some cracks forming above, we can always just take down the roof and rebuild it. So, like, for example, you see how there's snow... It's really easy. I just push Y, and then I immediately rebuild it. Right. And that just gets all the snow off of it. Okay, so we're getting pretty cold, stood here. I'm guessing you yeah, don't... Yeah, your fire's oh, gone out, fire so that's out. why yeah. you could either move the fire in there, or we could just go in the cave and let it run. Yeah, I kind of forgot about that. I thought I was being clever. Yeah, yeah I thought it was going to work too. I mean, the snow doesn't always make it seem like it would put it out, but... It does. Uh, I've now got two fires on me. <laughs> there you go. Put it under Dave. Yeah. <laughs> Light me on fire. <laughs> so this leather armor is actually working out all right so far. Oh, yeah, it's not bad. Um, check some of those in there. Only 13%, so yeah, this has to run for a little oh, while right. here. Yeah. What happens if the storm finishes while it's still... Uh... Yeah, it's a good mm. question. We might have to actually wait out for another storm? I don't know. So I was hoping to get it placed a little sooner, but that is... It's probably requiring two storms. Well, I'm glad we have a lot of food and, uh, you know, firewood here. Yeah. We're, uh, if you can't tell from our accents, we're in the U.S. And, and out here, you know, we're actually dealing with a little cold in real life, too, so... Yeah. It sort of seems fitting. Yeah, I saw the um, forecast the other day. You've got a real... Um, it's not actually a, called a polar vortex, I don't believe, this one. I think it's... Um, vortex is generally a smaller area, isn't it? This is a huge area. Yeah, it seems like a lot of our whole country is experiencing something. Yeah. So, I agree, but then you know, one day later we'll be back to normal, it seems. So. Uh. It's a bit like Icarus, I suppose. Crazy storms, then all of a sudden sunny skies again. Yeah. yeah it seems to be a little yep. over encumbered. Yeah, you, uh, see, yes. you see where I'm at, Mozo? Yeah. Ah, oh, crap. My oh, no, that's Dave. Uh, hang on. I'm in the cave. Oh, yeah? Okay. Uh, let me just ditch some of this. Can you uh, can you use some of this? Um, sure. A stack of the oxide. I've got, I got 102 yeah. of the oxide, which I thought I would grab while I could, but I'm also carrying the crafting bench. So, Absolutely. Uh, you're in the cave. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah this some is... Of them. This is what I was talking about. You cannot get back out of here without something to help you out. Oh, right. Yeah, okay. some, some of these you can kind of hop around. I'm going to stand um, on the mushrooms. Yeah, I mean, I'll show you. So I'll do the unstuck where I just kind of disappear. And I just appeared out uh, in the middle of the snow. Oh, right. I don't know I, if you're... I saw, it, but I saw it, but Mozo did not. Yeah. I don't uh, know if, if I used your ramp to get out or not then. Right. Uh, yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't tell from my angle. Okie dokie. 
That's 38, so we set it up. It is still climbing even though we're not in a storm, so I guess as long as we set it up. There's some seared mushroom in this fire if you want it. Oh, you put some yeah, it doesn't yeah. seem to say it needs to be in a storm, it just needs to be in the Arctic. So I think we're okay. Uh, hey, uh, Dave, put some uh, ice in this here fire, this first one. Okay. What do we have? Um, this first one is it's got a stack of 100 in it. I'll just move it to the other one here. Yeah. No, that's, that's the other <clears> one. See. Dang it, this is the first one. Yeah. What is that? Oh, yeah, that's right, little cooked mushroom. I thought this... wait, what? It's doing water. I know. Oh, it's got to have water first. Yeah. Yeah, I'm getting to the point of needing water of 10% now, so... <clears throat> yeah, you should have. There's two in this fire here that you could drink from. Um... Consume. I see. Oh, and that fills you right up. Okay. So we are up to 51%, so we're over halfway through. Um, but this is clearly going to take a little while, and all we could do is stand by the fire and play cards. So uh, yeah. uh, I'm going to bring bring you back in a few minutes when this is all um, getting near 99%. Yeah. And welcome back, everybody. So we just skipped that little bit, just uh, sitting around waiting. It's not much fun for you to watch, so... Uh, you can see we're just about to complete. 99, there we go, 100. And suddenly something's taking a lot of damage. I assume it's damage. Is it damage? Wow. Is that thing doing? Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. Hmm. It's... It, just blew the, it just blew the base apart. <laughs> 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 well, we didn't need the base anyway. Oops. So I can pick it back up again. It's clearing. How about that? Yeah, look at our three day forecast now. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay, so um, I'm pretty over encumbered. I'm not quite, but I, I've got a lot. Um, I also heard a very bad noise. Yeah, it's no longer alive. Meat, seared mushroom, we'll eat. Uh, that we don't need. So, I'll put the oxide in there because I don't need it. And I don't know what it does if you put oxide in a fire, so <laughs> that's good. <clears throat> <laughs> Somebody's uh, repair hammer broke. I heard it. Hey, yeah. Oh, do you want the workbench? Oh, uh, no, that's all right. Okay. Yeah, we won't need it. I will need a right, piece of wood, though. Cool. But should we sleep, uh, and then uh, I think we can make our way back now that we have the mission done. Return to dropship. Uh, sounds yep. like a plan. Um, you, you can have the bed at the back, because uh, that's where the worms spawn. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> All right. There we go. I'll take this fire. Okay. Take all. Um, I'll take the bed. Yeah, I'm actually not too bad. I'm 97 of 110, so I can take a little bit more, if need be. Okay. I can take the fire, it's okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm a little over-encumbered right now, but... And I need to remind you that I have pneumonia, which means... Uh, not very well. You're gonna have to carry me. Sorry about that. But... Yeah, that's alright. I think we'll all be moving a little slow. I've got a whole lot of coal that I probably don't need. Yeah, I just I just dropped off half of mine. Yeah. Okay, so drop it. I'm gonna mark my drop pod. Um. Okay, we good? Okay, I think we shall. Yep, time to run out of here and hope yeah. not to die. Um, I'm out of stamina already. <laughs> it didn't last long, did it? <laughs> yeah. It's alright, we tend to go slower in the snow anyways, trying to watch out for the bears. Especially, that's pretty nice, we know there's no storm coming. 
Yeah. Yeah. Definitely lots of bears, though, still. And mammoths. Yeah, I'm not sure if they're aggressive. I don't. The last one we encountered, they were all aggressive, so. Oh. Yeah. But that was usually when they were put there specifically in a mission as a boss. Now yeah. it seems like they're just wandering. They're just roaming around. Could be like the buffalo where if you shoot them, they get upset. But other than that. I don't know. Mozo, go run up and pet that one. Tell us if it's accurate. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I think I think it's interesting the structure of the game how they sort of I mean we're on a totally different planet in a different solar system somewhere but I, the way I've seen it explained I forget if if some of those blurbs told us about it but is that they basically brought the genetics here to kind of pre-terraform this planet before we got here all oh, right is that how it so kind of that's why we're seeing deer and all these creatures yeah. that we're used to seeing gotcha on a foreign and, planet and they can breathe the air and not get sick yeah, they kind of adapted to the weird weather of this place. My stamina bar is so small, it's ridiculous. Oh, I know, yeah. Another trick with pneumonia, if you don't want to have to leave a cave or if you're worried about, you know, weather or something outside, is when you get inside of a bed, that's the same thing. If you want to sit in your bed for 20 or 30 seconds, that will reset the clock on your cave timer. So oh, for all yeah. the viewers out there, you know, you can either leave the cave for 20 or 30 seconds uh, or yeah. get in a bed. It's, it's kind of unknown how long it takes until you get pneumonia. So you're sort of rolling the dice, but I would say usually anywhere from three to five minutes, maybe. So if you're popping out yeah. every two or three minutes, well, it's uh, be able to prevent it. apparently magic has fixed it. I've no longer got pneumonia, so there you go. That's good. Your timer ran out. Yeah. Yeah. Six hundred second timer. Okay, it's just eating a berry. And Mozo, I see you've got two of your three food buffs. You could always uh, eat like a regular cooked meat or something. Well, one's just run out, actually. I, I was just checking uh, that. I did have three. So, yeah, I oh, think that go. one yeah. just, just run out. Yeah, you get that little gong now. Like I said, I kind of don't really even think about eating until I hear that gong. I'm going to have to check what that is because I don't get that. Oh, really? At least nothing that I recognize as being a beep or a gong. Yeah, so, I noticed it. Okay. Yeah, I can't remember what it sounds like. It's on mine. It's not. It's not a gong. It's. it's yeah, kind of like it's a light one. But it's like, huh, kind yeah, of this. Yeah. Uh, Nothing that I've noticed. That's for sure. Well, the thing about it is, you wouldn't notice it until you put basically two and two together. Because it, you know, whenever we first started playing, I was like, "What is that?" Yeah. And then, <laughs> then it finally dawned on me what it was. Right. Yeah, it took me about a month. I kept hearing. It. I was like, "What is that noise that randomly happens?" <laughs> <laughs> oh, right, stammer again. I'm really bad at watching that bar. I'm actually amazed that you're keeping up with us as much as you are, though. With, I mean, pneumonia is not easy to run with. So, well done. Well, yeah, I mean, that was just a, a short spurt and then a walk and then a spurt and then a walk. So, I mean, it's the same thing as you do when you haven't got it. It's just your stamina bar is much shorter. So, yeah, uh, so it's gone now anyway, fortunately. So I'm back to back to normal, back to fighting fit. Well, go oh, pet, go pet bear. that polar bear. Oh, there's a, a buffalo, um, a baby buffalo wandered its way. It thinks its mom is the polar bear. Yeah. I've I would possibly that. try it with a mammoth, but I'm pretty sure the bear isn't going to be, um, <laughs> you know, the 50-50 on the mammoth, but it's 99 to 1 on the bear, so no, uh, right. I, I'm good. I feel like yeah. I like. But, you know, we you, you really need this for video. <laughs> yeah. I know, right? I'm like, okay, uh, we're getting close. I've already got slaughtered by a bear on... Um, I forget which episode it was, but on my subsistence 24 days a year. Uh, yeah. I, I was so used to um, running up steps so that a wolf would break off. And I, I got aggro by a bear and I ran up my steps and I forgot to go through the door thinking that'll de-aggro. And of course a bear doesn't de-aggro. Don't 
run him over here. <laughs> you saw what I was doing. Heck yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> Mozo, you may want to watch this. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm oh, watching. He's, he's yeah. Arrows. There you go. Oh crap, I thought he was getting at me. No, no, I think it was just stumbling. I'm good at hitting him in the bum, I just don't seem to be able to hit him in the head. I'm amazed he stayed triggered on me only. And it is easier when you're the attacker because you get a lot more. Look at all these arrows. <laughs> <laughs> can, I, can I have some arrows back? That's, that's, <laughs> right? not a, that's not a polar bear. That's a porcupine. Yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, want some, well, want some of my that's arrows. why you, you've seen us with a bear, but a polar bear just takes so many more. All the ones in his um, ass will be mine, because that's all, yeah, yeah. <laughs> all I seem to do. If you get a little bit slower, then, you know, yeah, somebody yeah. harvest him, but... I can't. Yeah, if you get I, slow oh, from the cold, can. you can see how all of a sudden you can get yourself into trouble trying to do that over and over yeah, and over yeah. again when you can barely run. So, it's better to just run around him, but I figured with two of you, and we were close enough to the warm biome and our base, it'd be fun to try. <laughs> well, I don't know how many arrows that was, but it was a lot. It absolutely was, yeah. Polar bears are not to be messed with. Nope, definitely not being uh, inexperienced with them. Mm. If you get good at shooting brown bear, then you could take on polar bears. Yeah. And still, we'll lose. Right, so all of this... Um, this is for naught, isn't it? Uh, yeah, yep, because it is we now. we won't be coming back here again. Mhm. Mm just seems strange to me that you'd go to all this trouble setting up infrastructure and you know all the rest of it, and then just leave it all behind. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is always kind of funny the way it ends up but, working like that. Mm. I got. I got to tell you, I think that's probably one of the things that kept bringing Dave and I back is. We did have the challenge of having to make oh crap <laughs> <laughs> of having to make all this stuff. Um, right. Well, uh, I don't think we really needed to burn the base down. <laughs> well, he didn't want the polar bears to move in. Well, that's yeah, that's I mean, true. Yeah. Don't make it too easy on them. <laughs> Did it go out? Oh no, I was gonna say, did it go out? No, no, it's still burning. <laughs> I don't think it is. So but how did how did you manage to do that? You run too close uh, to the fire. I or? held a torch and I just dropped it while oh, it was right. lit. Yeah. So that's the funny thing about this game is it may drop our frame rate, but in the end of the day, we don't need any of this anymore. Nah. It's a, kind of a strange thing for those used to survival games, but. You get kind of used to it. Like you build up a base. I mean, you may even be up to tier four with all kinds of electronics and lights, and then, you know, eventually you sort of it met its purpose, and you get to move on to the next. I can't get this to light. What the heck? No. Yeah, just if you lead in front of their nose, usually that's a good way to kind of help get the uh, kill cam to work out. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we're in danger of losing the sun, aren't we? We um, are. Yeah. I think Might we as well should uh, make our way at this point. We should leave the forest to burn on this planet, as we no longer need this planet. We'll just let it burn the forest down. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It resets all the trees and everything when you come back. <laughs> so that's that. I think we did a good job. You know, like I said, you can kind of see how you need to build up a little bit of a base. You kind of get your foundation, uh, cook a good amount of meat if you think you might need it. And, yeah. um, you know, we got our armor. We did a lot of things, I think, to sort of show how to build up a base. And I think, you know, now that we're level 10, level 15 even, there's even more crafting and more things that you do to make your base, you know, bigger and more built out. And mm -hmm. so the, the more you get into the missions, the more you sort of 
get used to that, building up a nice nice home base for yourself and then and then progressing out on the mission. And you and you get faster because you start learning what things you need yeah. to grab first. Yeah. I'm just going to chuck this all this area, stuff out. We were talking about it. I mean, I know it's sort of uh, we had to wait until level 15, but I still feel that this mission here is a great one to do early on because that valley that we were just in where that first one is. Oh, there's a bear now that spawned behind us. Um, there's a lot of animals that spawned, just like mm -hmm. you saw. And it's a, so it becomes a really good area to learn how to use your bow, to learn how to hunt. Um, you can learn a lot in there. And, you know, you we could have stayed there as long as we wanted. We could have leveled to level 20 if we really wanted. So you kind of have that choice in this game. You can either keep progressing through the missions if you really want, or you can... You know, take any one of the missions and just use it as an opportunity to learn a little more and stay in there a little longer. Well, I think the main, it seems to me the main reason for doing the missions would be to get Ren so that you could buy <laughs> things that would help you in your 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 main game. So you, you might have like a main game, um, like which is just a continuous I'm playing this game yeah. kind of thing. But then, or your next missions. Yeah, but then okay, I could benefit from an iron pickaxe or a you know whatever better something. Um, I think this is mine. Uh, as far as I remember, yeah, this is mine. That's yeah, so, so weird, um, because on my map, oh, I guess mine's the green one, not the blue one. Yeah, we've yeah, swapped over. Changed. I think because I came in yeah. before you. Uh, I think yep. it's allocated. Yeah, you were across the lake. Uh, But yeah, I agree. It's it, there is that balance between you stay in here, but we are using wood tools and you know stone tools, and it is nice to start to then have those things uh, with the suit. I will say, you know, we now are getting to the point where we have enough rent, so the suits are really nice because they can hold your water. Eventually, they can even hold a little stack of food for you, so you can automatically just make sure you don't go hungry. So there's a few things that are worth getting that rent for. Mm. Definitely. And we just earned, I think, what, 125 from this mission? I think so. Yep, yeah. I believe. Yeah. Yeah. So Pretty good. Find something to spend that on, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Well, I think I found my pod here. Okie dokie. You guys, yeah, okay. Yep, I'm at my pod. Right. Well, thank you very much, both. Um, I don't think I need to... Well, let's see. Can I? Yeah, I can shift-click that into the cargo, but... Doesn't really make any difference, I don't think. Uh, yeah, thank you very much. Thank you, everybody, for uh, for joining us. If you stuck with us through this kind of mega episode, really, two two parts, two episodes, uh, just to get the mission done. Um, hopefully, shown you that whilst a lot of people say you need fur armor and that's level twenty, we've just done it in leather armor, which is level fifteen, so it's definitely possible. Uh, so yeah, great. Thank you very much. I'm going to jump back in my pod and go back into my nice, warm, centrally heated spaceship um, and sit there playing cards, chess, something, until next week, when we hope you'll join us again. So, here we go. Yeah. So, yeah, take, take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. And away we go. And there you're off. And a bear comes by and eats you. <laughs>